It looks like Yamaha is also making the move into the electric outboard business. In the recent past, I put a video out about the future of outboards going electric. Well, it looks like Yamaha is going to make that jump into the electric outboard market also. So, and they're a big player, so it'd be interesting to watch. But let's get to the article. Yamaha has never been a company to rush anything into production, and its first electric outboard, the Harmo, which is short for Harmony, is a prime example. The first iteration of this propulsion system was unveiled in Europe in 2016, and its newest version was officially revealed in the United States this last September. Its predicted appearance on American boats won't be until 2023. So they go on to say the big player race is officially on and that uh, how they went to use the Vision Marine E Motion 180E that's 180 horsepower which I did a video about and uh, also the Brunswick systems that are about 40 or 50 horsepower that are coming out. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes and he talks about that the 180 made 31 knots on a lighter load pontoon boat. While high power electric boats are the future well, that's debatable. Conventional lithium battery technology isn't quite ready to supplant fossil fuels as the power source for mainstream boats. The article goes on to say that Yamaha isn't going to focus on large outboards, but is going to look at smaller outboards that can deliver things like quiet, precise control, smoothness, maneuverability, etc. Don't call it a prop. The major diversion point that separates the Harmo from other electric outboards is its rim drive system, which I would call a court nozzle, which is technology found on applications from bow thrusters to ship propulsion systems. Rather than using a traditional exposed propeller that pushes the boat in a turbulent froth of power, the Harmo employs a 15 inch diameter four blade aluminum impeller that's circled by a brushless 3.6 kilowatt motor. The Harmo weighs just 121 pounds and produces 225 static pounds of thrust, which is the equivalent of a 9.9 .9 horsepower gasoline outboard. It goes on to say that it uses a bigger prop than a standard gasoline 9.9, .9, so it'll have more thrust in the long run. The Harmo's outboard's helm master control lacks Yamaha's set point suite of advanced maneuvering features. Well, that is for now. The Yamaha rep goes on to say that installing it's just a matter of adding hardware such as a heading sensor and integrated software and it basically would make it uh, work a lot better than shifting your gas engine all the time and basically used as a virtual anchor to keep you into place. Sounds kind of neat. The Yamaha rep says that you know it allow the boat builders to decide whether the cost benefit ratio of the set point was favorable so it's all about cost I guess. The Helm Master Control To enhance maneuverability, the independently articulating lower unit of the Harmo outboard can turn 70 degrees in either direction. By comparison, a Yamaha F99 turns 43 degrees each way. So, with 140 degrees of total articulation, a Harmo helmsman can perform maneuvers such as turning a boat around its length. And the article goes on to say that the uh, Harmo can be used with uh, Yamaha's master joystick in addition with a traditional steering wheel. Twin Harmos, if you move the joystick to the right or to the left, the boat's going to move that way sideways. So you got really pretty precise control with it that wouldn't be possible without drive-by wire. Power choices. Well, looks like Yamaha is smart they're not really going to get into the battery business. They're going to rely on the boat builders to decide what they want to use. As long as it's 48 volts. There are many ways to get 48 volts. You know, Yamaha's golf carts use 6 8-volt conventional batteries to power them. The article goes on to talk about lithium battery solutions and Dakota's 48 lithium iron phosphate battery. It weighs just 77 pounds and has 96 amp hours store of stored power. Or you can go the cheap route and get uh, lead acid batteries like are used in uh, the Yamaha electric golf carts. A lot cheaper but uh, not quite the bang that you're going to get out of lithium. Harmo's Future 
Although the Harmo will likely be used as the main propulsion system for boats plying waterways with horsepower or gasoline power restrictions, at its U.S. online unveiling, it was shown as an auxiliary motor on a fishing boat. Right now, it is only being used on the Respiro, a 23-foot runabout built by Venmar in Italy. Several undisclosed U.S. boat builders are reportedly testing the system, and it's likely that at least one is a pontoon company. And here's the kicker. Yamaha has not announced a price for the Harmo. Harmo is the perfect system for horsepower or internal combustion restricted waterways, says Yamaha Marine U.S. Business Unit President. Ultimately, it's up to ours, I guess Yamaha's, boat builder customers to decide how to integrate it into their boats, and we're eager to see the results. Well, I'd put money on it that the boat companies that have this thing are Yamaha-owned boat companies. But it's an interesting product and philosophy, and uh, I think they're probably heading in the right direction, at least for now, until battery technology comes around, which God knows if it ever will. But that's something for the future, and we'll keep an eye on it. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.